really quick, the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of you guys are under quarantine, you're, you're uh, forced to stay home, so I want to help entertain you guys by making a video like this to keep you entertained for 10 to 20 minutes. And so, yes, this should be a, uh, an interesting one. Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are just going to have a flat out brawl between all the big time hammer drills that I have. Now I am missing some, I do not have Bosch yet, I borrowed that from a friend for a previous video. I do not have Craftsman, I do not have Metabo, there are, tr trust me other brands are coming to this channel and it, they will soon. But today we're going to do these uh, hammer drills that I have. We're going to do DeWalt with a 4 amp hour battery. We are going to do Cobalt with a 4 amp hour battery. We're going to do Ryobi with a 4 amp hour battery. We're going to do Makita with a 4 amp hour battery. We are going to do uh, Milwaukee with a 5 amp hour battery. Now I am very sorry you guys, I do not have a 4 amp hour Milwaukee battery. So a 5 amp hour is not that big of a difference between five and four so please deal with me on that four amp hour for the hilti and for the rigid i do not have a four amp hour so in uh the uh i do not have a five amp hour either so we're going to use the three amp hour octane for the rigid now i didn't even make a uh, video about this one yet so I have no clue how this performs. We are just going to use, I, I am sorry you guys, just please bear with me on this. This stuff's expensive, you know, batteries are expensive, uh, so just bear with me on this. So I will be getting 4 amp hour batteries in the future and this is not going to be the only test we do with these. We are going to do an extensive amount of testing with all of them at once. We're just going to do certain tasks, we're just going to do a couple of tasks. And these type of videos because if I do what I normally do this video would be like an hour long what we're gonna do in this video we are gonna do uh, two holes with a three-quarter inch uh, bit at once we're gonna whip out the six by six for the one and a half inch uh, spade bit and we're gonna do this on speed one and speed two and we are gonna see which one of these could actually complete this on speed two without any hesitation all right, guys, please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and subscribe to my channel. All right, I'm going to do this really quickly. Uh, so for the rigid, we're going to use model number R8611506, 3 amp hour battery, octane battery, battery is full. All right, so for the Makita, we're going to use uh, XPH07, uh, half inch metal chuck, two speeds. We're going to use a 4 amp hour battery with that. For the Milwaukee, we're using... Uh, Eight, uh, two eight oh four dash two zero, uh, half inch metal chuck. Uh, battery is full. We're gonna use a five amp hour battery. And I'm sorry, battery is full for the Makita. For the Hilti, we're using model number SF six HA two two, half inch metal chuck, two speed settings. Battery is full. For the Cobalt, we're using model number uh, five uh, KHD five two four B dash zero three. Half inch metal chuck, two speed settings, battery is full. For the Ryobi, we're using model number P251, half inch metal chuck, two speed settings, four amp hour battery, battery is full. And I'm sorry, we are using the four amp hour battery for the Cobalt. Last but not least, we're the DeWalt, uh, model number is DCD996, half inch metal chuck, we're using a four amp hour battery, and the battery is full. And I already did a test video on this. Speed three is not good for this uh, uh, one and a half inch speed bit. So for this one and a half, half inch speed bit, we are using speed two because uh, the speed three failed to drive it in. So we will be using speed two. I remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. All right, so I did a little t a little test to make this go smoothly. What we're gonna do is we are gonna tie. We're gonna do two holes. We're going to do them 
individually. I'm going to clear the flute out really quick, and but the time is going to resume right when I put it back in to, to drill. All right, so speed two. Battery is full. It's on drill. All right, so ready, go. That's time. Ready, go. All right, so that's time for Makita. All right, Cobalt is next. Uh, it's on drill, speed two. Battery is full. Sorry. Battery is full. Ready, go. One flute is cleared out. All right, so ready, go. That's two. We are gonna do Ryobi next. It is on drill, speed two, battery is full. We are not using an HP battery. All right, so ready, go. One. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, let's do Milwaukee next. It's on speed two, drill. Battery is full, five amp hour battery. All right, so ready, go. That's one. Do one more. Ready, go. And so like I said, tools are able to do this flawlessly with the flute being uh, clogged up on the drill. So we're gonna do Hilti. It's on drill, speed two, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. That's one. Do one more. All right, so ready, go. Up. All right, so Hilti failed on that one. That's Hilti's time. Remember, we're not retaking any of these. That's that's the shot it has. If it doesn't do it, it doesn't do it. Dewalt next. Dewalt has speed three, so because it has that feature, we're using it. Because speed three is more than capable of doing this, but we are gonna switch to speed two when it comes to the the spade bit. All right, so it's on drill, speed three, battery is full. So ready, go. Wow. Maybe speed three is too much. We are, we are gonna switch to speed two for the DeWalt. So now it's just doing every, whatever everyone else does. All right, so ready, go. One more. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not bad. Not bad. I thought Hilti would uh would do that flawlessly, but it didn't. Oh, it's all good. All right, so it is rigid. This is my first time actually using this uh this hammer drill for rigid. All right, it's on drill speed two. That's crazy. A hundred and what ten point chuck? That's insane. Or clutch, I mean. All right, so we're gonna do two holes. Oh, battery is full. Three amp hour octane. Sorry, I do not have a four amp hour. All right, so ready, go. That's one. Adjust this a little bit more. One more. All right, so ready, go.
just just because just because I want to do hill tea one more time. All right, so ready. Up oh, speed two. Ready, go. Nope. Alrighty, so what I, I have uh, this marked off on where the old holes were and with the space that I have to make new holes. Now, when it comes to all of these, all of these hammer drills, the two most pathetic handles is the Ryobi and the Dewalt. These two handles are absolutely terrible. All right, so these two are the worst handles. So my favorite handles are the Milwaukee and Hilti, because of these two are metal, are pretty much almost all metal, and the stem is perfectly, perfectly uh, sized. Uh, my favorite would be the Makita, but the stem is way too long. It is the beefiest uh, handle, but this stem is way too long. All right, so we're gonna do cobalt first. Uh, we're gonna do, first we're gonna do the first hole on speed one. We're not gonna waste any time. That clears everything. All right, so set speed one drill. All right, so ready, go. This test is fun. All right, so speed one, battery is still full. Ready, go. Time. There we go, it's on speed one, it's on drill, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. Speed one, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. Time. It's on drill, speed one. Yeah, see that, that handle, that's not much of a handle. So ready, go. Time. There we go. Milwaukee and Hilti. There we go. It's on drill. Speed one. Battery is full still. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. Not too shabby. Last but not least, it is Hilti. All right, speed one. It is on drill. Battery is full. Ready, go.
All right, battery is full. Rigid is on speed two. All right, so ready, go. It stopped, but it finished it. It finished it. We'll do DeWalt next. It's hard to get it to speed two sometimes. There we go. Alright, so ready, go. Time. Yep. Makita is next. Ready, go. All right, Makita stopped. Makita stopped. So Makita failed to do that. Always when I'm filming, I get a phone call. All right, so Makita failed to do that, and it does not get another attempt. We'll get another shot in the future, but in this video, Makita failed. All right, we're gonna do Ryobi next. Speed two, it's on drill, battery is uh, at three bars, surprisingly. All right, so ready, go. Nope, Ryobi cannot do it on speed two. Ryobi failed. We're gonna do Hilti next. Speed two. Right here is good. Ready, go. Time. Wow, that was fast. All right, so next we are gonna do Cobalt. I think I have enough space for two more. I think I'm good. All right, so speed two, it is on drill, battery is full. Very good, all right, so ready, go. All right, it did it. It did it. Ooh. Ooh. Nope, it's all good. All right, and last but not least, the Milwaukee. All right, so perfect. All right, so speed two, it's on drill, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. Time. The Makita almost did the did this on speed two, but the last quarter of an inch it cut out. So it almost did it, but it cut out at the last quarter inch. It's all good though. This is still my favorite uh, hammer drill. Makita is still my favorite hammer drill. I love this thing. So the results are there. Please don't hate me for them. Uh, most of these drills did exceptionally well. All of them were able to do it on speed one. On speed two, the Ryobi failed and the Makita failed, which I'm a little disappointed with. I was surprised in how well the Rigid did. Now, I thought the Rigid was going to fail this test. Because this is my first time using the Rigid. Now, the, using the Octane battery might have give it that extra boost. But we are gonna re uh, we're not gonna redo this test. We are gonna c continue this test in future videos with other tasks. Now that includes wood, metal, concrete. You know, like these types of videos are gonna come a lot when it comes to doing a mass quantity of tools to do with just a few tasks in instead of only doing two tools doing a lot of tasks. So these types of videos are coming a lot more often. Then we're gonna do impacts, then we're gonna do recip saws. 
So, like I said, this channel is not going anywhere. I am so sorry if you guys are uh, under quarantine. We're the same thing in Illinois. You know, it's like I went to that. I had to pick up something from the. I had to pick something up from the store yesterday and the uh, at Target. It was there was no one in there, no one on the roads. It was absolutely crazy. So the results are there. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.